We hope this is the Sabbath day. Y'all rejoice in the Shabbat. For the Shabbat or Sabbath day was made for man and not man for the Sabbath. Although it is part of the commandments of the Most High Jah, of Exiabi here, in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, and the New Covenant. For in a spiritual sense, Yeshua is our rest. However, Yeshua, or what the world calls Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, if you please, said, I've come not to abolish the law, but fulfill. So we'll get into that, but I just want to give thanks to all those tuning in on this particular video, on this particular Sabbath. Blessed love to one and all. All right. Now we all know traditional Shabbat or Sabbath begins on sundown, Friday evening. It was sundown last night, Friday evening. is the Shabbat Eve going into the traditional Shabbat or Sabbath day from the morning until now. Right now, yes, this particular uh, video is being recorded on the Shabbat. It is uh, 2 o'clock in the afternoon, officially. Shabbat Shalom. And I want to uh, share something with all of you. Since this, this is one of the early videos since I've made my official comeback just a couple days ago. I've managed to uh, get a trim, trimmed up my wisdom. I got a haircut and I started my new job Thursday as a one-on-one uh, -on -one TA for an autism student and a group of um, autism students in one of the classes at RAMS, which stands for Roanoke Academy Middle School, also Roanoke Academy Elementary School over in Southwest Roanoke, Virginia. Uh, Roanoke City Schools has hired me as a sub for the past five months. I finally got my foot in the door to be an official teaching assistant at Roanoke Academy, so I'm thankful for that. Hallelujah. Rastafari. Jah's been good. I have to give thanks and praise. Okay, let me get into this particular video. Alright, so last night during the uh, Shabbat Eve, I took the time to study scriptures in my Bible. I took the uh, opportunity to check my Facebook and get on YouTube. And certain people of so-called ultra-orthodox forms of so-called Judaism uh, will reject a, a cyber Sabbath. Now, I personally encourage a cyberless uh, Shabbat or Sabbath from time to time, but there's nothing wrong with getting online, using electricity. Uh, I would say if you need to cook, you know, try to cook something uh, before sundown. If not, hey, you know, it's not going to take all day to uh, cook something of so-called kosher or aito food, or even if you happen to eat meat in this consciousness of Rastafari movement. Um, make sure it's kosher according to Yiddish terms or Eitel, uh, or at least let it be a, a clean food, you know, beef, chicken, fish, you know, no pork, no crustaceans. Let's keep it, let's keep it clean according to Jah word and the foundation of Torah. So this message may be universal to not just the elect Rastafari, but all messianic disciples and other types of Orthodox Christians and Hebrew Israelites of the New Covenant. Job bless. Anyways, I don't want to go off on too many different tangents. So before I go off on too many different tangents, let me make my point. So last night, during the Sabbath Eve, I'm checking out the fellow Rastafari brethren, Wyndham Yadin, on Rastafari Sabbatical, his YouTube channel, from LOJ Society, and he was breaking down the story of uh, Bahana Selassie. Bob Nesta Marley, the infamous legend himself, and his relation to Samson, you know, the infamous story of Samson in the Bible, the Nazarite, you know, the, a lot of the early Rastafari movement and 